Right, Martin, we'll start with the uh, big news. How does it feel to be Norwich City women's head coach? Absolutely brilliant. I'm going to be honest. Um, obviously, I've known for a little while now. I've been out of the country a little bit, so um, just excited to be announced. Um, I get excited and then I move on really quickly because I just want to get with the team now and just and just embed some DNA and, and embed the, the philosophies and principles that we want to we want to drive now. But um, delighted. That's the word I'm going to use. Absolutely delighted to be here. Um, and the family's coming down soon, which is exciting as well. So I'll have my baby boy and my wife coming down and. Yeah, I'm going to have a real go at this at this job. I think we're going to have a good, good little partnership with the club for sure. And what do you make of the club and the city of, of of what you've seen so far? I've had the grand tour today. I was inside the club with a shirt. Um, honestly, everyone has just been so nice, and I know that you hear that a lot. But this club is is different. There's there's different opportunities along the way. But when you come here, the people are different. You know, it's very warm, um, and it's not false. It's 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 genuine. You can feel that. And I know I'm a Jordy, but like I almost feel like this is a bit of a second home. I was I was just saying before, you know, I walked around the streets today, um, and I seen about nine or ten Norwich shirts, and you don't always get that in cities. Um, up in Newcastle, you walk around the doors, and there's everyone in the black and white shirt to sort of see people walking around in Norwich shirts means how much it means to the to the city and. It's, it's a bit like Newcastle in that respect. It can be a goldfish bowl because it's the biggest sport. Everyone loves it. So Norwich, I think, is, is going to be perfect fit for me in terms, of, in terms of my attitude to football, the passion and the love in the community. And yeah, it's, it's been brilliant, a brilliant setup so far. And for you and your players, where does that leave you sort of pressure-wise? Because I think if you look up and down the, the division, Norwich certainly stands out as a, a club compared to maybe some of the others in the division. Do yeah. you think that puts pressure on you to perform at all? Um, not for me, not for me. We finished fourth last season, which is the highest finish. Pressure comes from Norwich City men's team have been a strong, strong club. The women's team is still in its infancy. So because you know we can't get that mixed up, but we have put pressure on each other, the girls. We've said what we want to do this season. We'll not spell it out to you guys and everyone, but we've got internal goals. We want to, we want to be challenging. We were just saying AFC Wimbledon finished on 45 points and a plus 30 odd. We finish on 31 and a minus two. We've got a lot of making up to do, but we genuinely feel that we can because they drew 1-1 with us and, and they only snuck a 1-0 win. So the gap, hashtag United have left the league. They ended up blowing everyone away. So there'll be teams, there'll be a couple of surprise teams. There'll be ourselves, Wimbledon and a couple of others who will be really thinking they can push, push all the way. But pressure, no, I, I, I don't feel the pressure. I've, we've got a lot of internal goals. Internally, you might feel it, but we're just going to enjoy this season. We've got a process and we've talked about improvement and growth. If we can improve by... 10%, fantastic, we're going to be in with a shout. If it's only 5% this season, then we'll be in the mix. But yeah, we're just going to stick with that improvement and growth this season and see where it takes us. We know it's been a very busy few days for you. What's that look like from sort of when the club made contact in your first few days yeah. in the club? So obviously, um, did the, I did an interview, what was a month ago, I went to Canada for three weeks. I spent some time there and obviously um, when I found out, um, we were absolutely elated. Um, my wife was as well and she's, she's actually so excited as well I mean um, we, we had a great trip down here a few years ago and um, watched the game and we, we fell in love with it then so it was just bizarre that the role came up and we applied but um, yeah I think um, for me it's a really exciting challenge really looking forward to take the women's team forward and we've got high hopes Flo Allen has been second you know a top class with me so far I think it's a very good project and I think we, we've got bigger goals and yeah, we want to get promoted obviously and that would open things up quicker but we've got a process here and I think um, if we stick along to that process we've got a chance so yeah. And you mentioned Flo there, what have your conversations with her been like so far? Yeah, I mean l listen, um, Flo's been different class I've, uh, you know, since day one, since I met her and that was one of the big reasons I came because I'm, I'm very much a coach who wants relationships, who needs positive relationships around us. And she's been brilliant in terms of just a, you know, a clarity. She understands what I want to do. I understand where the club want to go and would like to go. I'm on board. I'm going to give it everything I've got to, to try and achieve that in potentially the first season and push us forward. Um, but yeah, Flo has been, the conversations have been, we had, a, we had a lovely little Nando's today as we walked through town. So it was a nice introduction. We've had a, I've had a busy due day. I've missed breakfast. I missed dinner. She said, come on, we need to get you some food. So... Yeah. Even those little things of just, you know, taking care of them little things really mean a lot. And um, yeah, me little, me baby boy, 
Norwich. Yeah, I've got a gift. He's got a, He's now got a Norwich kit. So he's gone black and white. Uh, he's three year old, so he'll have a Norwich kit waiting for him. So just little gestures like that mean a hell of a lot to me and the family. So just genuinely feel like it's been a, such a warm reception from Flo, but not just that, the staff, Nathan, Ethan, you know, the club. I'm walking around the inside of the club today and everyone is just so kind and nice. So, yeah, really excited. It's the right decision and I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to be here. I'm sure part of those conversations with Flo were the uh, six new players that have been announced today. What have you made of that transfer business? Yeah, well, obviously we've known a little bit, um, a little bit of time. Um, I had to do some digging, obviously, in, in terms of, clips and you know the six signings are absolutely fantastic I mean we've got a mix of experience athleticism unbelievable technical ability in there as well and um, that's kind of part of our DNA we want to have them types of players in our team so all six of those players actually throw their hats straight in the ring and, and to start in the, in the season you know usually it'd be like one or two but there's all six who have you know they're going to have to do a little bit and some more to knock out the players who have cemented their places but uh, there's some headaches for us, you know, I didn't think I was going to have these many headaches, but, you know, that's what we want. We want good players, we want to have two per position where, like I was saying earlier, we've got 22 games in the league, there's 12 teams in the league now, we've got Cups, League Cups, County Cups. Yeah, we've asked the girls to come on a journey with us, follow the process, trust the process, and, you know, if you're good enough, you know, your time will come, so... But it's going to be tough picking that team, I might come to you and ask you to pick the team for us next week, if that's all right, yeah. Just a couple more from me, if yeah. that's all right. Um, you spoke about that sort of DNA and the, the sort of tactics you want to put into the players. Yeah. Um, without telling us too much, what can fans expect to see from, from your team? OK, so there's, there's something around this. and it, it's, 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 I think my upbringing, I'll take you back, would have been watching the, the Keegan days and the Bobby Robson days. So there's a little bit of attack and football, a little bit of compassion, the Bobby Robson ways, you would say. I've been around and been in Canada and across Europe and, 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 and studied some of the teams across there. So there's a mix of like, we want to dominate the ball. We want to love the ball. So you see us, you'll hopefully see us controlling the ball a little yeah. bit more. But when we don't have it, you're going to, you're going to hear me barking orders yeah. and shouting. But the girls driving that, after, after my voice will become probably, hopefully after a few months, a little bit less because they're doing it naturally. So you're going to see a high, hopefully without giving everything away, you know, a high pressure. We're going to be fit, strong, fast. We're going to try and outsmart the opposition. That means we've got to be adaptable at times. You know, if they're playing long, we might have to set up differently. If they play short, we'll be aggressive. So an adaptable team, it wants to attack and get numbers towards the box. And that's, that's hopefully what you're going to see. So we want to make sure that goal margin is a lot higher and we're not sitting on minus two at the end of the season because, yeah, that's not where we're going to be. Yeah. And what did you make of today's performance? Obviously, a 2 0 win. Um, was it a little bit mixed in terms of what you wanted to see? Yeah, I think um, if you know Roxham, they've 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 done well in there. I don't know a lot about Roxham; they're a division below us. But what I'm hearing is this was going to be some people like, yeah, this could be an easy game, and then everyone else was like, no, this is going to be a really tough game. They've got a new manager. They've ended up signing players who used to play for Norwich, so they're good players. They've got a good squad. A lot of our girls knew them. They were quite direct. Physical, they, they, we had a high press on, but we didn't want to change that because we wanted to get in our DNA. So we let them have that ball over the top. But um, I thought Roxham were good. There's some good players in there, but for us, it was the first 30 minutes was we had the ball, but not doing a lot with it. The patterns and the, and the timings were off a little bit, which is to be expected. We've just dropped a, a ton of tactical DNA on them last night. And I think um, to expect the team to do that is so. I think the first 30, okay. Next 30, good. Yeah. Next 30, very good. And we ended on another very good. So if you think, if we're talking about process, it went from there, I know you can't see on here, but <laughs> to up. So imagine I'm doing a trajectory yeah. from top to bottom. So in terms of, I'd rather do that than go the other way. Yeah. So really pleased. Um, if I had to give us a score, it'd be like a seven and a half out of 10. Okay. Yeah, that's where I'm at with it. But lots of learnings for me and lots of clarity for me in terms of the starting team and the starting squad, I think. So yeah, really good.